hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening we have come again with a live broadcast of our prime minister i'll make it an audio i know why but what he's saying is that um, if there is any price that beer france will pay it will be a price of freedom not price to be one nigeria he says so much more that beer france are paid in order to maintain one nigeria never again no it doesn't make sense nigeria will let me be the minute go like when you are washing the knee trying to wash the knee to be of the same color with your leg ha huh? you will do that for eternity and you will not achieve it even when you bleach the knee is still very dark so there's no point no need to try to please or maintain one nigeria no that is still life goes off somebody's body but this generation will change it for them there must be a price they should get ready there must be a price biafra must come it must be given back to Nigeria is aged, diseased, sick, and dead. So it must give birth. It must give birth. Children are eager to come out of it. Nations, but well, if other ones can subpeda and uh, be subdued by the name Nigeria, Biafra will not. Biafra will not. And I want you to hear our Prime Minister. Prime Minister of Biafra, please, over to you, sir. If Biafrans are going to pay any price going forward, it is a price of freedom. Not the price of one Nigeria. For the past decade, Biafra has been killed. The killing of Biafrans has nothing to do with the future of the Biafra people. Rather, Nigeria that were frontally formed on gunpoint. And ever since then, Nigeria continued to force Biafrans at gunpoint to remain a slave. I want Biafrans to understand that we are living in a different world today, not like in the 60s. We are living in a world they call the global village. In as much as I condemn in strongest term the terrorist attack against Israel on 7th of October, look at where they are today. The world now value terrorism, backed by media war, backed by media. You go and kill innocent children and women in Israel. And then the entire media is on your side. Today, the United Nations is voting to recognize Palestine. With their terrorism. And that is the reason why none of you, from the time immemorial, who have been shouting for Biafra, nobody take you serious. Because you have not done something that the world will look at you and see that you really need your freedom. I'm telling you the fact. It is now that we are doing it because those who have killed us, we are now defending ourselves. And the self-defense we are going into, believe me, even US, even United Nations will be shocked from what is going on coming out from Nigeria. Nigeria state is a terrorist state. And only when we begin to show how you know serious we are to get our freedom. The world will never listen to us. But I'm very happy because it starts from the grassroots. Before the world will talk about you, the people that have been killing your people need to talk about you first. And that's where we are going. We will start from the grassroots to the top. Now we have started from state. And from state, we have entered national. From national, 
we have entered international. So now, the Nigeria state that has supervised the killing of Biafra people are now talking about the resilience of Biafra, how Biafra have resisted their terrorism against them, and it will gradually go to the international community. It will gradually go to the United Nations. It will also go to the U.S. government. It is already there. They are talking about it. So what are we doing? We are facing Nigeria using what I called a multi-dimensional approach. Multi-dimensional approach, political approach, diplomatic approach, armed struggle to defend ourselves. And today, they tell you, did you see where somebody carry arms and, uh, and get freedom? Now ask them, did you see where somebody allow himself to be killed and get freedom? The answer is no. You can never say you want to be a good person. Stay like this. Let Nigeria army kill you. And then by then you get your freedom. It doesn't work. What works now is kill me, I kill you. Come to kill our people, I will make sure you don't kill them and go free. And that's exactly what is happening. Today we see them debating on the floor of the United Nations General Assembly, voting for the Palestine to be part of the UN. Why? Because they committed acts of terrorism, they kill women, kill children of the Israel. And then they back them with the media war all over the world. I want you to understand that the war between Israel and Palestine did not start today. There has been a war of ADs. But today, they have done the unthinkable. And now, instead of the world to condemn the act of terrorism made on civilians, they are validating them. But you know what? Any day you do something like that, believe me, the whole world will condemn you. And we will never ever raise our arms against civilians and children. Because we believe in respect to human dignity and respect to life of others. But any day you carry gun as a Christian to take the life of other people that have no guns, you will become the worst thing that the world will talk about. But look at what Palestine did and look at what is happening all over the world. They are voting for them after the terrorism against Israel. So Biafra people, we will not do the same thing. But what we are going to do is to make sure that those who have killed Biafra people for ages will never ever kill them again and go free. It does not matter how long this is going to take us. We are also making sure that Nigeria will never have its presence in Biafra land after December 2nd. And you know, like I have said in the past, between now and December 2nd, a lot is going to happen. We'll make sure there is no Nigeria government, any government present will be in Biafra land. It is going to take time. We don't care. But our target and our main focus is to make sure there is no Nigeria present in Biafra territory. No Nigeria vehicle, no Nigeria painted vehicle, no official vehicle will be operating and using Biafra road freely going for before this December 2nd. And anybody that is seen using Biafra, using Nigeria uh, 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 painted vehicle or Nigeria police or I mean, anywhere you see them, they are the terrorists we have in our land who shelled the killings, the killers of our people, who shelled these Fulani terrorists to come to our land. And our target is to get rid of them. It is called the delegitimization of the terrorist state within Biafra territory. So it doesn't matter what the propaganda the enemies are carrying. I want Biafrans to remain focused on our goal and our task. What we do now is put your eye on the rising sun. So remain focused, and all we need is support and prayer. Like I said, if you do not do the unthinkable, the enemy will think that you are joking. And I want everybody to understand 
that the unthinkable we are doing is to make sure that we defend ourselves against terrorist state of Nigeria. And the defending ourselves we also extend by making sure that the presence of Nigeria within Biafra land we will continue to delegitimize them and make sure we get rid of them. So from the checkpoint for the past years, for the last two years or so, we have been hammering on checkpoint. It takes time, but it is happening. Checkpoints will be dislodged. It does not matter how long it takes us, but we will continue to dislodge them. So those of you that still have checkpoints in your area, do not worry. Their time is coming. We will dislodge them. I will never give them a British space. Enugu, former Enugu, former Ebony, former Nambra, Bayosa, Rivers, Delta, uh, former Calabar, uh, Aquaibom, Cross River, all of them, we are starting opening new fronts to make sure that Nigeria will never breed in our land. And it needed your support, everything, needed your prayers, and the media team also need your support and prayers. Because you have seen the power of media in what is happening with Israel and Palestine. Everybody, I was watching and listening to the uh, statement and the vote at the United Nations, and I shook my head. They are now validating terrorism. Because they are not Christians. But any day you do it in Nigeria, believe me. The whole world will condemn you. But you know, not the way others fought their own is the way we are going to fight our own. Our own is a very peculiar case that needed to be fought completely different from other people. That's why we have designed our own. Now, those people that are always telling you, uh, how do you fight? You tell me where somebody have fight. Tell me where somebody have done. Have you seen where in any country in this world that fought for freedom, where the people went and killed children and women, kidnapped them, and then the world is defending them? Tell me where that thing have. But it's happened now. It finally happened in 2024. It finally become a norm under our own very eyes. We are watching them validate terrorism against Israel. But people tell you, it is wrong. You don't do this. And get free. You, you see it happening. Tell me, what are you going to say? You see the entire world now is against Israel. Something that has never happened before. So we are changing this world. And like I said, your freedom is in your hand. Do not allow anybody to dictate who you are. You are somebody. You have a culture. You have value. Do not allow anybody going forward to dictate to you how to live your life. That's what Biafra is doing today. We will make sure that our arms will never go against civilians. But always to Nigeria Army and police and every other Nigeria agent carrying guns that are facilitating this terrorism against Biafra, our gun goes against them. Till the day we will declare and restore Biafra, and today Biafra will be recognized by this same UN. They are setting presidents. We are going there. We will meet them at the UN General Assembly. The game is on. And then let us see how they will vote for Palestine and reject Biafra. I greet you all. The war have just started. Yes, the war has just started. They will tell us why every other nation get their independence and separation from where they don't choose. But Biafra own is something else. They will have to tell us. You know, Mazin Amdekano used to say that uh, whenever he gets to UN, whenever somebody talks about Biafra, the whole of them will stand up and start going. They will tell us why. You know, all those hanky-panky games, shameless games they are playing, they will tell us why. Because Biafra must be freed. It is by force. These people have chosen to separate themselves from Nigeria. You have to listen to them. The years 
of sleeping, the years of lukewarmness, the year of, you know, carelessness is over. This generation say it is now, and you must have to grant it to them. Or whatever comes out of it, even nature will pay you dearly for not stopping a fire you would have been able to stop. You are able to stop this fight. Yes, you and you are. But hence, you have made up your mind that you will not stop this fight. Whatever comes out of it, nature will pay you. God will pay you. We will pay you. Because it's general fight to get ready. Yes, uh, it, it is this year. Our Prime Minister, thank you very much. God will go before you, will go before the cabinet to make sure that we hear from them. They will tell us why. And we will tell them the reason we say we insist. And that's it. Nothing more, nothing less, dear friends. And we urge you to please stay glued. Like, share, and uh, subscribe to this very channel. God bless you all.